five ways or five passive incomes that you can use today to improve your income portfolio. Now, this is information that you might be interested in knowing because these are practical ways in which you can increase your own income. And these are some of the five passive incomes that you can look in today. Number one is to create a course. Now, this is something that you can easily do only if you have a particular skill set that you're good at and you've taken the time to master. You can create a, co a course that's either audio or video uh, and you can publish Publish these courses on platforms such as Skillshare and Udemy for you to get money off of it. You can sell these courses and they can be easily distributed on these platforms. So Skillshare, Udemy, very good places that you can do it. But there's one thing that you need to note and that thing is it takes a massive amount of time for you to create this course because think of it as you creating a curriculum for whatever it is that you're good at. So if you're good at video editing, Create a course around that and teach people via video or audio. That's the first thing you need to do if you want. That's one passive income that you can take. Another idea is rental properties. Now, with rental properties, what you need to do or need to keep in mind is that it's a bit pricey for you to start because you have to purchase property, of course. Now, this property could be a house property or it could be a space to to let that is with regards to businesses uh, renting that space so a little pricey to start but it's got massive benefits and one thing you need to look out for is is there a market for this property that you've purchased and are about to rent out and also there is a risk of tenants damaging some of the things in the property itself but the property itself actually can be damaged so you need to keep in mind that you need to have constant maintenance works in that regard the third passive income that you can start today is flipping retail products now this is something that is already done on a daily we see this with people who sell phones who have boutiques essentially the idea is you purchase something online off ebay or amazon at a very cheap price and you bring it back here in the country and you add a markup to the product itself. People do it with phones all the time. Most, most of the people that, most of the places that you bought your phones from, I'm sure, is from someone who is doing this. So you can get into this as well. It's a simple concept of arbitrage. What that means is you purchase something in a different region at a low price and you then sell it in a different region at a higher price. So you're taking advantage of that disparity in prices in those two regions. Something that you can look forward to doing. But a caution is that you would have to work hard to hustle and surf the internet for hours to look for a very reliable source and also a source that is cheap so it's pointless for you to get it at a very high price and then fail to sell it here but also keep in mind that you need to be realistic with the prices that you bring back here you need to be very competitive by that your price needs to be very good for people to be able to purchase the fourth idea you can look into is dividends and stocks so this will require you to surf the Lusaka stock exchange and look at some of the companies that are listed there and how much their shares are going at Passive income, yes, but don't expect to get uh, returns as soon as possible because some stocks on the stock exchange require you to wait for a period of time before these dividends are given out. But you can also take it a step further and look for specific stocks and companies that offer these stocks uh, and offer these dividends, I beg your pardon, at regular intervals. It could be quarterly or it could be yearly. So look out for that. The final one is an interesting one, but it's something that you can definitely start and it's very beneficial. It's renting out parking space now this also comes with a lot of work with regards to you finding or having property somewhere close to where it's a very busy space so it could be a commuting space uh, and it's very beneficial because people would require to will be going to that particular place to get something and they'll need to park their space now you may have seen this happening at uh, some places in town some places in town have designated parking spaces where people drive in and they park and you have to pay a fee and then leave so it's something that you can get started on uh, you could you could just give out like three cars parking spaces for three cars or more so those are some of the things you need to look out for so those are the five passive incomes that i thought would be very beneficial to anyone uh, who would like to increase the income portfolio i tried as much as possible to make them tailored to the real life zamian situation so 
each and every one of these can be done in Zambia. So it's not so far off for you to start. It's very important that you work on your income portfolios and also increase your sources of income. Do not just have one. Multiple sources of income is the sure way to go just so you can have a net in case one of them fails and you can always have that money flowing in. That's all I have for you in business this morning.